Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech. I am doing a quick sketch up for school's training video for you today, and I'm also using my Paladow lapel microphone. I've got my volumes a little lower, and I'm just checking to see if I can find the exact right settings so I can record a Camtasia and get what I want. So, to get to the lesson, the first thing I need you to do is go to hlmodtech.com. Remember when we hit the 3D modeling and use this link so we can launch SketchUp, because at my school it is disabled by admin. When you're in SketchUp for Schools, I would like you to hit the new folder, and when we do new today, I want you to choose the simple template millimeters, click on the gentleman in the middle, hit delete, and call this one, follow me with your initials. When you click OK, it'll ask where you want to save it. Remember, we only click once, and then we hit select to have that folder set up. Alrighty friends, this one's going to be a bit of a challenge. Make sure that you follow it closely. We're going to start with a circle. Notice I'm at huge numbers. I want you to make a circle that's somewhere down around 100. So I'm going to do mine around 140, 150. We're going to use a lot of views. So let's start by zooming to extents. Then let's switch to the view cube and let's do left, right ISO. And then let's roll out just a little bit. We want these views always handy so that we can go back and forth to them. I need you to click on the origin and I need you to lift it straight up the blue axis. Make sure it goes all the way out and then find an end point. I don't care which end point you pick, but pick a end point and then connect it back to the middle so you've got the triangle wedge. This first one is the easiest. Uh, we are going to use follow me and I simply want you to click on follow me Click on that face and then follow it all the way around until it makes a cool cone. If yours doesn't work the first time, just try again. Once you've got it sweet, I want you to go to the materials and I want you to just pick a plain material from the home button. Pick any color that you think is cool and paint your cone quick and fast. The second shape we're going to be creating uses the front view. When you click front view, it's easy for you to draw a rectangle that goes straight up in the air. Click on this rectangle tool, click on your red axis, and just draw a nice tall straight rectangle. I did not care about the numbers, I just wanted you to draw one. And then I want you to pick the line tool. Make sure you're on the edge, and then as you draw each of these, I'm rolling my wheel in, instead of from point, you need to make sure it says on face. That says perpendicular to edge. I don't trust it. I'm going to do on face, on face, on face, on face, and then on edge is fine as well. Double check that it really turned out cool by looking at it from the left view. See how there's nothing sticking out kitty wampus? Those would be bad parts. I'm going to do control Z to get rid of that. And I'm going to go back to my left right ISO. I'm going to hit erase and you can erase either side. I'm going to erase this side, and I'm just getting rid of all the pieces except the cool-looking shape. From this ISO view, I am going to draw a flat circle out in space, just out here, spaced out a little ways away so they're not touching, making sure it's on the ground, not off that cone. And then when I do follow me, this time I can click on that front face, and when I trace that shape, it snaps around and makes that amazing face I made into a shape. I'm going to use one of the glasses. So remember, we do browse on the colors. And I'm going to pick a glass. And I'm just going to paint this outside face so you can see how amazing that shape turned out. I'm going to have you do this one more time. Let's once again go back to our views. We want to do that front view so we've got a flat space. Let's click on our rectangle tool and draw that rectangle out here in space. When you've got that, let's switch to the freehand tool. You want to start from an edge and you got to hold the mouse as you create the crazy awesome shape that you want to do. And then I'm going to finish on the edge. You can cut this side or this side. I'm going to cut off this side. Let's do that erase, 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 erase. 
switch to the front left ISO, draw your circle using the circle tool. I'm going to put it out here just a little bit. And then I'm going to do the follow me again, where I click on the cool shape. And then when I trace, look at this, it's going around the shape because of where I put it. And it's actually going to make a cutout shape that matches what I just designed. If you miss by a little bit, I'm flexible. If you want to try a couple times to get it perfect, all you have to do is do control Z and go back to your follow me and try it to trace again around the red lines until it snaps to the exact spot where it finishes. It is possible to design parts that aren't finishable, but uh, I'm just showing you how it works. Oops, just so we can have a little bit of fun. You can also draw parts that look like that. I'm flexible. You can be as perfect as you want. I know how it works where some of us have to be perfect and some of us are just happy with learning a skill and being done. When you've got your part done, make sure you pick a cool color. Instead of glass, this time I'm going to go down to water. I'm also going to click on the shape one, two, three times to do the triple click. And I'm going to paint it with water all at once. Friends, that is a good quick tutorial with the follow me. Make sure you click save so you don't use it. If you're in my classroom, make sure you give me a screenshot of this lesson. If you're out on the internet, you can just click save and be done. Hey friends, just a fast lesson today. I wanted you to get experience with it. Sometimes kids get really frustrated, so I like to make this one not very serious, just having fun and getting skills. If you found it cool, please hit that like button. If you've got a question or a comment, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know this brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.